Hey there guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this quick and easy trippy text effect. Starting off with the document size, I make mine a nice even 2500 by 2500. So step one is making the background. You can use any colors you want. Start off with the solid color tool or fill tool and fill in the background with the solid color. I'm going to use purple. Then make the new layer and select the brush tool and then the soft brush option. Make sure you have a different color selected. I'm choosing a yellow for this one and then click once in the middle of your document. It doesn't have to be exact and you should have something that looks like my one here. Moving on to step two, select the text tool. I am using the font Big John with a size of 130 and a spacing of minus 70. There is a link in the description to download this font if you want to. Then simply write whatever you want and center it. Step 3 involves duplicating your text layer till you have 3 of them and then double clicking on them and changing the channels for them so for each text layer take away one different channel. So for this one I'll take away red, this one I'll take away green and this one I'll take away blue. Now what you want to do is to move each layer in a different direction slightly. You can use the eye to turn off certain layers to make it easier. Then finally rasterize the layers by right clicking and hitting rasterize and then right click on all three of them and hit merge turning it into one layer and then I like to use the lasso tool to select the top half and cut it turning it into two layers of text the top and bottom half. For step four select a text layer and then use the liquify tool more specifically the twirl tool to make the font look all topsy-turvy. You can go as crazy with this one as you want to. When you're satisfied, hit OK and do the same to the other text layer. And finally, move them into place. Now for the finishing touches, tweak the vibrance and saturation a bit and then add a grain texture over the top of it. And that's how you get this effect. I will include links below to the grainy textures and the font. And thank you for watching. Have a nice day. See you later. Bye.